Hi, hello. Oh, yes, hello. I'm calling from Visa Portal LLC, and my name is Sandeep. Jim? Yeah, hello there. Oh, um, yes, I just need to inform you that we have finished all the work with the computer now, and everything is working fine with it. Right. Did you find any Trojans or anything? Yes, uh, we have already removed all your network infections, and also we have, like, blocked them, so they will not enter from now onwards. Right, just that I was watching everything you were doing and also recording what you're doing and recording your voice because you've removed nothing whatsoever from this machine. It was never infected in the first place. And all you've done. I'm was sorry? It was never infected with anything in the first place, and you know that. Yeah. So you, you say that you've removed a Trojan. Tell me what Trojan you've removed and show me evidence of that then. Right now we have already removed and everything is uh, recordable at our end as well. Right, show me then. Tell me what Trojan I had. What's the name of the Trojan? Let Come me on, check Sandy. it. Uh, that, yes. Yeah, show me. Tell me what, what I had. Tell me what Trojan I had then. And bear in mind, I've recorded Trojan. the video of this from beginning to end. So tell me what you removed. Like we have removed all the Trojans. Yeah, which has show, been me, show me on one. Computer. Show me one Trojan that you've removed. Okay, let me explain it to you. Uh, like there were Trojan horses in it. Yeah, show, show me and evidence of that. That's what I'm asking. But how should I show you now? But they are already removed. Because if it was something like, oh, this particular tool, I'm sure you were going to install probably the free version of this. It would have logs and it would show you in the history what was removed. Okay, there's nothing been removed this here. This is an this is an anti malware software. I'm not talking yeah. about this malware bytes. So go on then. Tell me what software you use to remove any Trojan. Bear in mind I've recorded everything you've done. So are you gonna still stand by that story that you removed a Trojan? I do understand your concern. Uh, like, I can do one thing. I can just uh, uh, like have a word with the same technician whom you have talked at the very first beginning. So, may I put the line on hold for one to two minutes while I'm looking with him? You, you can do what you want, but don't forget, all of this is going to be uploaded to YouTube very shortly. So, be very careful what you say in the next few minutes. Thank you for holding line. I really appreciate your patience. My name is Nadim and I'll assist you further. So can you please tell me what concern you have? Yes, I was explaining to your colleague Sandeep that um, you're running a scam mm -hmm. here and nothing short of a scam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, you, you think that's the thing? Let me explain you. The I understand that if I hadn't challenged you at all, you would have charged me that 300 pounds. Okay, I'm sure you'll deny that, but you know, that's that's the way the scam no, works. I know that. You. Okay, it's, it's not like that. Sandeep, I, I would like to challenge you on very specific things then. You said that I had a Trojan. Okay, this machine is a brand new clean virtual machine. It has got the most up to date antivirus and anti malware software running on it. I would have detected whether there was any Trojan there or not. When you did your scans, nothing was found, yet your colleague said, we've removed Trojans. He just lied to me. Do you want to Let respond to that? There. First uh -huh. thing is that you called us. We never called I, I you. Did, never I did call you because have... your number appears in some antivirus pop-ups. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so you're, you're immediately... Yeah. Yes, uh, we already told you that we are a third party company which provides online yeah. technical support for computers and any device program. Yeah. Okay. So why why would you lie you about your your address then? Why would you lie about your physical no, we, address? It's there over here. And there, you can go to our website. So you, you, can you see still insist. So your your, we, your website says that you're based in California. Definitely, it's in Gardena City, California. We we'll yeah. see that our company is actually with. Better Business Bureau. We are a charter member of Business System Alliance over here. And yeah. if you can see over here at the bottom, you can go over there. Yeah. Let's just browse it. Mm -hmm. Just a second.
Yep. You get all the information over here. The yep. scam company, they never provide you any kind of information where they're located. Right, what but phone uh, I had a look at that address, thanks to Google yes. Maps. That, that particular address belongs to a, a shop which sells whole, wholesale food. Okay, mm -hmm. and not only that, um, are, are you still insisting that you're located in California? Definitely, we are in California. You're, California. So you're, you're sitting in California at the minute, are you? Definitely, we are there. Okay. Yeah. So the you're sitting in California right now. So what, what's yes, the time? I what's, told you. what's the time with you at the moment? Just a moment. You have to look that up, do you? Around 5:30. 5:30 a.m. or p.m. It's at a.m. Okay. Like working 24/7. 24/7. So okay. Like a, so yeah. it wouldn't so happen to be, oh, let's just say 6 p.m. Mumbai time by any chance? No, definitely we are not located anywhere in India. As You're I not told located you. in India. Okay. So is there any reason then okay. why, whenever I've got the, the IP address tracing software on this machine, that I can see mm -hmm. your connections coming from that IP address that I just put to the screen there, which is um, something which is that particular IP address is your current IP address right now, and that is part of Tata Tele Services in India, and it looks mm -hmm. like it's a Mumbai um, location. Is there any reason for that then? Uh, as I told you, we are a computer person. This is the work of an IT department. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, you're, you're, you haven't answered the question. Is that a yes, a we are located in Mumbai, or no, I'm still sticking to the story that we're in California? Definitely, we have already told you we are Gandina City, California, okay? Just repeating things will not change the truth, okay? Repeating the same things will not change the truth, uh -huh. okay? Well, perhaps yes. the Wireshark evidence might persuade you otherwise. Pardon me? I'm running something called Wireshark. You should Google this after the call. And this is mm -hmm. a virtual machine. So I can monitor yeah. the incoming and outgoing packets from this machine, and I can Definitely see. you can do it. Okay, like I've already we done it. We, yeah. we yeah. already have. We also record the same things for the quality reasons uh -huh. and for the future updation of the things. Okay, so right. So we'll be able to see the scam from beginning to end. Pardon me. You'll be able to if you've recorded all of this, then you'll have yes. evidence that there never was a Trojan in the first place. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. they also the, the clear one is that whenever you typed stuff, you typed the tree command, then you typed on the command line that I had a Trojan. I mean, how do you explain that one? As I told you, that was a procedure to run the scanning on your computer and to find but out. But the tree the command doesn't scan like anything; it just lists directories. It doesn't scan. No, it's not like that. Okay, don't. It's not like that. There, the software like which that. is there will do the work. Okay. It's not like that. So if I run the tree command, then as that will do a system scan, will it? Let me explain. As I already told you, that the things which you're getting, okay, they are much more than that. Okay. Tree. There you go. There's tree. That's all it does. It lists directories. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you do tree and then you type gobbledygook like that, you do pretty much what you did. You ran the tree command, then you said you have Trojans or whatever you typed. There you go. So Is that evidence of a Trojan? It's not like that, okay? As I only told you, it wasn't like that. So I'm, I'm bear in mind, Sandy or Nadim, whatever your name is, I'm sure it's probably not a real name. Maybe it is. I don't know. You know, I've recorded this. Okay, I can yeah. play that back to you if you really wanted to see it. But I would just like mm -hmm. to understand how you can justify trying to scam people using those sort of techniques. Let me explain the scam. I just explain you what's the difference between a scam people and the legitimate no, people. Explain this one to me. I, I know what a scam is. And if you say I'm running a virus scan and you type stuff on yeah. the command line, how could that not possibly be a scam? Explain that to me in detail. 
as I already told you, what the things, with the money which you are paying for, you are getting the, those things and each and everything. If the things would be a scam thing, so if I catch you out, you. if I catch you mm -hmm. out and you don't charge me, that's not counted as a scam in your book. Is that what you're saying? If you remember, if you remember the things I j already told you, the first point of time when I was ex explaining you, we are not going to charge you right here, right now. I already told you we're going to charge you after some days after complete work has been done and after taking your feedback. If you remember that, I already told you about that. So that make a huge difference over there. If I would have trying to make money from that you, makes a I difference. already told you okay. that. Definitely. All right. Let Let's say you don't charge my credit card because I've been canny enough to realize that it's a scam. What about the other people who, whenever you run a tree command and you type this rubbish out to the screen, what if they believe you and what if you charge their card? Is that still not a scam? Definitely not. It's because That's as I told you not. that we are providing you technical support over here, and I already told you that. Along with the one year of technical support, you'll be getting a complete five years of malware bytes from our side. So if you just calculate I already that, have malware bytes. Why would I need another one? As, as I told you, after this malware byte get expired, you do not have to renew it. If you remember that, I told you we are going to provide you a complete <laughs> you, five you're years. You're doing a good job of deflecting the question. The, the technique that you've used to try and get people to pay you is to scare them into something that the, you describe as a Trojan or you use the words virtual IP no, blocker, whatever the heck that you, is. I'm just explaining uh, you about the right, difference which is there between the scam people and the legitimate people. So you're because legitimate. The scam people, when they, they just try to make money from you, they get disappear about after that, after charging you the money. They never so provide you okay. any kind of information. I mean, yeah, we're, we're going around in circles. What I'll do is everything that we have discussed, everything you've done on this machine, mm -hmm. I've recorded. I'll yeah. upload it to YouTube, okay? And okay. if you think it's not a scam, then you'll have nothing to worry about. If on the Definitely other hand... I'm not worried about anything. Uh, right, we are okay. paying for something, we are providing you that, okay? So okay. it's not like that, that I should be worried about something. Right. You are paying for something and we are here to provide you that. We are trying to provide you the technical support as a, you have the malware byte. We are providing a complete five years of malware byte from our side and each and everything. Yeah. And those things... If you continue the services, will be coming up in your email within the next 24 hours. Right. If okay. You now, no matter what that. you've said there, I know and you mm -hmm. know it's a scam. And because Definitely of that, I'm not worried I about will, anything. Okay. So you're not worried about anything. That's fine. Okay. Definitely. What I will do is now that yeah. I've got your IP address, this one, mm -hmm. and the timestamp, which is uh, Mumbai, so it's now okay. 6 p.m. It's been running for a few hours. This one, though, um, I can go to your ISP. Um, and that's Tata mm -hmm. Tele Services in Italy. They they mm -hmm. provide that IP address to you, and that's the one you're using at the minute. So I'm going to get them to identify exactly who you are because I know your address isn't in California. I know you're located mm -hmm. in India. Or I'll okay. probably just publish all of this on YouTube anyway. So that mm -hmm. uh, look your legitimate organisation is V Support LLC or ITAssist.com or .co.uk. Um, you can maybe make um, whenever I publish this, maybe you can respond to what I've just recorded. Maybe you can try and justify exactly what you're doing. And maybe some other people that you have previously scammed, maybe they can take a look at this and maybe they would be very interested to see where exactly you are located. And hopefully, hopefully when I do publish this, um, you'll maybe have a slight change of heart about scamming. Do you still insist that you're not scamming? No. Definitely not. As I already told you, Definitely if you're not. paying for something, we're providing that. Okay. Right. Okay, the scam uh, people, they never provide you the things which you pay for. So that's never provide you. Over here. Yeah, well, they believe they it or they not, not I've recorded you. a few of these in the past. And what you do is no different to the people who ring you up saying you've got a virus or we're Microsoft. So you're doing exactly the same thing. 
as I already told you that you are paying some money, we are providing you the technical support for that. You are using malware byte, we are providing you the five years of malware byte and the optimization tools which you have, we are providing you that. That's okay. the for the money which is for and for the fixation and optimization of your computer. Well, that's fine. That's if you're if you're happy and you you're convincing yourself this isn't a scam, well, let, let's let's mm -hmm. get the general public to make the decision about this one whether you're scamming or not. Right. So thank you for choosing V support. <laughs> thank you for choosing. Oh. Thank you for choosing scammers in Mumbai. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll let others make the make the choice on whether they want to use V support LLC or itassist.com or itassist.co.uk, who are based in Mumbai and claim to be based in California, and run nothing short of scare tactics to try and fool people into paying three hundred pounds for unnecessary software and supposedly support. Goodbye. That's the thing, Isaac. Okay, then thank you for choosing B Bye.